Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of... Liquor? I don't even know her. All right, so we're going to do a Four Loco. Uh, we saw this Four Loco, and I mean, I've done Four Loco, I think, a couple of times. One of the times I actually did it with Matt. I think it was the USA one. Yeah. Is it the Freedom one? Whatever it was called. And um, I'm not a big fan of Four Loco. They also have a, a, a bit of a kick to it. So this is like 13.9% ABV. But we saw this one and it looked interesting. So this is Warheads. Matt obviously has done this one. So he was asking me, well, tell us what you think. Now, while we were shopping for this, we also saw these. Now, I know these aren't food, but they're Warheads Blue Raspberry Scented Crayons. So I thought, we also got some more heads. Yep. So what we'll do is we. I think what I don't. I don't. You know what we should do. We should taste the four local first, then do the war because the warhead's gonna like kill any the taste of anything our, else. Our face is gonna look like this. Yeah. So we'll see if 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 that tastes like that, and then we can even drop one in if we want, or put one in our mouth and then drink the four loco. With it. This just reminds me of my childhood, like the penny candy store grabbing these guys and and like trying to trick your friend. Those on the tongue splashes and stuff. This, I feel like, I, though we're channeling our inner Matt Zion, I, I feel like we should just be drinking this out of a paper bag. You know, <laughs> next to like a dumpster. Next to a dumpster or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, these... Just well, we'll stick we'll, them we'll up see, our we'll noses while we're drinking. Well, open up the warheads. Let's see if, let's see if this smells the same on these crayons before we get started. Well, those are blue raspberries, so hopefully... Oh, blue raspberry is one of them. Oh, that just smells like bag. Yeah, or maybe like up. a wa yeah, you're gonna have to open one. That one is, uh, can you tell? Black cherry. Yeah, you don't want black cherry. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Here's a blue. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot what these are like. They got that sour powder inside that like melts in your mouth, huh? When, as soon as you crump shit. All right, we're just gonna compare the smell for now. There's no smell. No? None. It's not that's weird. No smell. That's odd. But these are scented. Yep. Like blue raspberry. Oh, well, I mean. But why are these why are these scented like like Warheads blue raspberry? I mean, they smell like blue raspberry. Yeah, but they smell like Warheads blue raspberry. That's the thing. It's, it's specific. It just it doesn't say that they're 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 blue raspberry scented crayons. It says they're Warheads blue raspberry scented crayons. Huh? Did you eat one? No. I cut it open to see if it could sniff it now. Still. Yeah, not, not much. Really. Not but much. when I got the shards in my mouth, it... All right, so I'm going to get a blue one. Not that it makes a difference, because they're all supposedly smell like blue raspberry. Yeah, they all I smell mean, the same. smell like blue raspberry. Yeah, and, and plastic. All right, so now here's the thing. Here's the thing. So Matt Matt actually did scented crayons. I'm not, I don't think it was Warhead scented crayons. I can't remember which one it was, and I think it was Crayola. Yeah. Crayola had some scented crayons. Scented, do you remember which one it was? Do you... They had a couple of them at Five Below, a couple of different like brands like that. I don't know if one was like Skittles or something. It was like something along those lines. But it was definitely a Crayola. But Crayola, one. I know, has just the like fruit scented ones, almost like Mr. Sketch has the scented ones. So, so here's the thing, right? The thing is, Matt's channel is called Reckless Eating. Right? And so he took the scented crayon. We, I think we were saying candles. I think we've been saying candle, but scented crayon. <laughs> Wait, you have to say it like Matt. Scented cranes. Cranes, yeah. So <laughs> so he took the scented crane and he smelled it and he goes, oh, we're not gonna eat it because he, but they're reckless eating, right? Well, drinking four logos is pretty reckless. So, he, so uh, crayons or most crayons are non-toxic. They tell you if they're not. So Matt, this is what you are supposed to do. I'd be surprised if he didn't eat birthday candles my whole life. <laughs> if Matt didn't eat birthday candles? You, you. you! You've seen that, haven't you? That's what I'm saying. I'd be surprised if you hadn't eaten birthday candles my whole life. It tastes, tastes like wax. It's not sour. It's not... just tastes like wax. Just plain wax. You're gonna have to use that broken crayon and write them a strongly worded letter. I have blue teeth now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Wow, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no, no taste whatsoever. It just tastes like wax. So it's just scent only. You know, it is what it is. It's okay. It has kind of a paint aftertaste. It didn't say non-toxic on it, by the way. Oh, didn't no. say toxic on it, but it also didn't say non-toxic. So you, you I'll have, keep an eye on him. You, you have the, uh, the the police numbers handy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try this. 
You're supposed to shake this up first. No. I mean, no, not shake it, but you know, like. I I doubt very highly that there's any kind of natural ingredient in there that you need to just shake. Up. Oh. I think the last time I had a four loco, I had shotgunned it in a shower. Oh my god, that just smells like it, straight alcohol. It does. Okay, so so the thing is, it's supposed to be like warheads. It doesn't <laughs> smell like warheads. It doesn't smell like these cra these crayons smell nice. It smells like a malt beverage. It's just it's, straight malt beverage. It smells oh, like pretty. used malt beverage. That's uh, that's, that's enough. More than enough. Oh, I guess we have to pick a flavor. I'd probably do black cherry. It's, it, so the flavor of this one is is su uh, sour cosmic punch. So maybe so what, a little what, blue raspberry what and that? cherry. A uh, cherry's probably cherry's usually the um the most notable flavor in a. Oh, we have to drink this first. Probably. Yeah, yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna t we're gonna taste the the warhead to see if it matches the flavor, and then we're going to we're gonna with the warhead in our mouth. Then we're gonna drink the. Four local, or sip the four local on top of that. So here we go. So the, oh, we're doing black cherry. Yeah. All right. Just gonna have that ready. The classy broad. All right. So we're, uh, we're gonna drink first, right? <laughs> oh, it smells. Oh my god, Matt, how do you drink these all the time, man? It's but it's not warhead sour. There's it's some sour. sourness to it. I, it's pickle sour. Yeah. It's pickle sour. That's it. It's just pickle sour. And 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 not even like it's not even like drinking pickle juice. It's not even that sour. It's like uh uh what is like a sour fruit? Like like lemon. Like if you're if you're drinking lemon juice that's mostly lemon, you know it's that kind of sour? It's or or like a sour bev like a sour uh AP I uh, mean you know, IPA or something like that. Like It's not pucker sour. No. It's not it's not that sour. It's very sweet tasting too. And then you just get punched. Are you getting a fruit punch flavor? I'm getting a punch of, of straight alcohol to my throat. Oh yeah, absolutely. But no, no fruit punch. Well, I mean, yeah, like, you know what? When you smell it now, it's a bug. When you smell it, you that it's already affecting me. When you smell it now, smell it now. It smells like a little bit like a, a Hawaiian punch almost. That mm. artificial But there's that, there's that. almost like a musky smell underneath it like um like insect so there's like an insect smell underneath it or like a bug repellent it's just there's a smell underneath that's not right i think i think you're right i think it's malt yeah I it's the malt the, yeah it's the it's malt. 100 the malt but it's not a pleasant smell but once you get past that i'm getting i am getting the smell of like a hawaiian punch 100 percent. the flavor is terrible it's terrible yeah these are not good and it's not as sour as warheads I mean, it's not even close. Well, all right, gonna... here we go. Yeah, so. That's sour. Oh, yeah. It's crazy sour. Yeah. I don't know if you can just... Oh! <laughs> Ooh. So I don't get it. Like, why? Oh, that messes... That'll mess you up, man. Holy cow. It's subsiding now. Have you had the um, toxic waste candy? Yeah. I think that's worse. Yeah. And this doesn't last too long, right? It's mostly the coating on the outside. Exactly. Itself. So let's take a sip of this with that in a row. Oh, God. Doesn't it, help. it helps. Well, it helps a little bit. Until you swallow. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it does add a little bit of flavor. Which one was that? Blue raspberry. The scent of the can, um, crayons. Should we put a crayon in there? Sure. Why not? It's not going to do it's anything. It's not going to make it any worse. Mmm. Look at the legs, will you? It's got great legs. A brilliant bouquet of late summer fruity vomit, you know, in the summer on the hot concrete. It has a... It has the bouquet of, of used pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, those Wait. are on the bottom, though. Now I can't. Is it I'm not gonna like suck this down to get the bottomy pieces. Well, you don't have to get the bottom pieces. We want it to kind of dissolve oh, in there. Oh, right? flavor in there. Okay. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna help, though. No. Oh. It's no. turning like purplish, so I and think it, it's, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. 
That's because that is literally like nail polish remover, and I think anything that you drop in there will dissolve. Mm -hmm. Like fingers, yeah. clothes, <laughs> Children. shoes, you know. <laughs> animals. Uh, it does curb the smell a little bit. Mm. That's not really dissolving too much, right? It's bright blue though. Now it's bright blue. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah. Ah. Yeah. All right. My stomach feels hot. I'm just, my stomach feels hot. It doesn't help that you just ate a bowl of, uh, <laughs> <I know. laughs> of, uh. But, no, it's the, it's the, cause like I'll, I, I'll have drinks every once in a while, but usually it's like sour or a seltzer have you ever or had vodka. Have you ever had a spicy mixed drink? Like a, um. Yes, like I a, a love. jalapeno tequila? Oh, so good. Yeah. I had one that was a ghost pepper uh, margarita. It was delicious. Yeah. With the tahini rim. Mm -hmm. This is not delicious. No, this is heating up my stomach in the, like, uh, my liver is it's revolting like a chemical against heat. it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, let's, let's try it. It is better. Yeah, because That's the not sugar, saying much. The sugar curve. Yeah, it. it's not saying much, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you, what do you rate it? I mean, the, the, just the... Never mind the crayons, never mind the warheads or anything. What do you rate the warheads sour cosmic punch for loco? No. If I I wanna I wanna I wanna vote it two thumbs down. Go ahead. I'm gonna vote two thumbs down and my toes are pointing down as well. <laughs> the big toes, they're pointing down. It's just not good. It's not. I mean, I know Four Loco isn't the best anyways, and Samuel Jack <laughs> the Samuel Jackson beer said the quote. It'll get you, uh, you know. Yeah. They're quick, but um, other than that, I don't really see any real reason to. It's not an enjoyable sipping no. drink. Can you imagine like going over to somebody's house and they go like, "Hey, I got some beverages. What do you guys think? Uh, you want a can of Four Loko?" I'm like, "Hey, I just I remembered I left the stove on." Is that not what state. happens when you go over to Matt's? <laughs> I just no. Listen, all I have is some milk. Oh, sorry, milk, and Four Locos. What would happen if we put milk in here? No, hard pass. Be like Hard a lava lamp. <laughs> it's it not, would instantly curdle. It's not good. It's not. It's. There it has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. It's not good. These it help maybe a little bit, but not this enough. This does not taste like Warheads. It doesn't have the sourness of Warheads. I don't know why the Warheads name's even on it. It's just. It's a bad beverage. And if there's anything that I'd compare like the smell to, because the, the. I mean the. The drink is like pure alcohol to me, but. Oh. The uh whatever. It's eating through the table. I, I would compare the smell. Um, after you kind of not get, get past the malty beverage smell, it is like Hawaiian punch. That's what I'm getting. As well. as Leonard Pimp Garnell once said, this is irredeemably bad. <laughs> I'd rather just eat the crayon than drink this anymore. I wonder if the crayon's any better now. Or, or, or like Monty Python's table of wine. This, this is not a beverage for drinking. This is a beverage for lying down and avoiding. It still tastes like wax, doesn't it? It is like the wax lips. Yeah. No, perfumed wax. But it's kind of like the wax lips. Mm hmm But perfumed. Yeah, and the, but it breaks apart and kind of kind of gets stuck in your teeth yeah. a little bit too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a solid multiple thumbs down. It's it's crap. It's utter utter crap. These, I, however, bring back to your uh, childhood. These yeah, are, these, these are, are they're the fun. They give you that, that that initial you know punch in the face sourness, and then that wears off, and then you get the sugar and a little bit of a fruity flavor. So yeah, I would I would agree with you there. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, terrible, horrible, uh, awful. Uh, I, I would tell you to go out and, and try this, but don't. Uh, I'm I, like, I, I can't. I'm not even going to sit here and say your taste might be different than mine, and you might enjoy this. Nobody in their right mind would enjoy this. I enjoyed Anybody, that crayon. More you can, than I you would it. drink this for one reason and one reason only, and flavor is not it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and flavor is not it. So that's a that's a hard solid no. So when you're out there, just remember that stuff like this exists. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.